Thanks for joining me. For my audience members that are interested in song development and who are musicians themselves and songwriters themselves and, and wanting to uh, be creative, I'm just going to bring you into a little bit of my song uh, development or songwriting process. So here's, here's how this worked. So I used GarageBand for quick creativity. You could open it quickly, uh, choose an instrument, use a MIDI keyboard or something else, record something uh, vocally or record something externally, uh, but you can be quick. And so it doesn't inhibit the creative process like some of the more cumbersome uh, professional software. The engine inside GarageBand actually is the same engine as Logic Pro. So pretty much all of the quality of function that you've got inside Logic Pro, you've got inside GarageBand. And that's important to know because you can create something quickly in GarageBand, take it into Logic Pro, they're compatible with each other, both by Apple, and then do editing and mastering and all that sort of thing in Logic Pro. But then you can take stems from Logic Pro into Pro Tools uh, or something else. And so uh, you've got a bit of a pathway of creativity from, from GarageBand. And of course GarageBand's on mobile devices, mobile phones, iPads, uh, tablets. Uh, you can get it on um, on your, your laptop uh, and your, and your uh, your desktop uh, as well so it's pretty much available for people and very quick so what I've got here is I sat down at the piano uh, and I have recorded the audio of of the piano and the audio of the vocal as one track through a zoom L8 uh, mixing desk through USB into the uh, of all the audio into GarageBand. So this is not separate, it's not for audio production, it's for song production and song creativity. So the, the intent isn't to take anything that I've done here and produce it, uh, it is to be purely creative. And so what I've done for that creative process is to uh, sit down and take the feeling that I've got, and the feeling I had, this is called Angels Weep, and so the feeling I had was that, you know, uh, angels would be watching both sides of the uh, Palestinian-Israel conflict. And if we think about, uh, people talk a lot about heaven, they talk a lot about angels, they talk a lot about religion. Uh, well, you know, uh, angels would weep at the whole situation. And, and in fact, people do. People have an angelic nature and they're looking at the whole situation and thinking, well, it's terrible for everybody. And so what I did is I went into the, the most basic sort of elements of, of that feeling and thought about um, how I might express that uh, poetically uh, and, uh, and, and musically. And so I'm going to take you through three different phases or stages of that uh, realisation or development from the emotion uh, through to uh, whatever I got out of that. And so the thing about this creative process is there's no right or wrong. It's not about being perfect, not about even sounding good. The idea is just to uh, capture the emotion of the moment, capture the essence of it, and then you've got some ideas that you've captured for going back to it and working on it later. And, and so the creative uh, songwriting process isn't about perfection. It's about ideas. And so it's almost like, scribbling something down on a notepad you know it's you're not you don't expect it to be a work of art um, you expect it to just have captured the idea and so that's what we're doing here with the the tools so I'm just going to play the uh, the original thing when I sat down and uh, this is this is something I've written um, as I'm playing it and as I'm singing it so it wasn't made up it got made up while I was doing it and you're about to hear that now so let's have a listen
So that's the uh, the original, you know, sit down, write it, and record it as I'm writing it type of thing to, to capture that. So I can go back to that, so that at any time, which is quite useful, to reconnect with the emotion and you know the vibe and and also the the structure of whatever I was doing spontaneously. And but after I've done that, then I've gone in and thought, okay, well, um, let's. Let's try something a little bit different here. What if I sort of went a little bit sort of more pop and, and created some very light sort of uh, instrumentation around it uh, just to get an idea? So it wasn't about creating something perfect. It was about like just take a snapshot of, of, of that as something else. So it's almost like putting on a different shirt. Yeah, you know, I've worn one shirt and I thought, okay, well, that's what that looks like. Now I'll put on another shirt and, and I'll see what this one looks like. So let's have a listen. So that's just, uh, again, like trying something else on and seeing what I, I think of that. Then I thought, okay, that's a bit pedestrian and um, you know, I didn't really like it uh, very much. And so I went into Ableton to use a different sort of creative tool. And you know, Ableton's a bit sort of, I guess, more modern. Um, you know, the, the sounds uh, and the samples and the drum kits and other things in, in Ableton are, uh, I guess, much more modern than uh, you would get in Logic Pro. So it's almost like using you know, going into a different shop. You know, you, if you were shopping and you for, for your sound and you were going into one shop, it's you know it looks like one thing. You go into another shop, you look like another thing. Go into another shop, you look like another thing. And so here um, we get an entirely different sound altogether. Uh, the 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 idea I had actually was I quite like Massive Attack's got a song um, which is about it sort of has a video of like a a baby and an um, embryo and 
growth and the precious uh, nature of life. And I quite liked uh, Massive Attack's uh, sort of heartbeat uh, uh, vibe that they created, uh, which was really, I thought, quite cool. And the Atom Kit sort of gives a little bit of that. And I've, I've basically manually played that. It's very, very simple, just a, like a bass and, and a um, snare or something. <clears throat> but that's just to, you know, it, you know get a, like a metronome. And so it, it was. I haven't done drumming to, um, uh, yeah, you know, played drumming all the all the way through. Uh, but I manually did, did that drum kit, and uh, just to give it a bit of a um, a, a mood, yeah, you know, behind it, and then sort of ha had another sort of go. And this is sort of probably a little bit more atmospheric. But let's have a look at this. Uh, listen to this. find yourself doing some different things if you let yourself go and, and allow yourself room to sort of uh, make some mistakes, uh, try something new, go somewhere new, experiment. From that experimentation you'll find stuff you like. Here I go staccato. Find I move into a much quicker cutoff on the piano vamping. Up until now, it's been quite glissando, you know, dragging a bit, retardo. See, there's the switch. Just capturing your ideas, capturing a notepad of, of some things that you've thought um, in the creative process. So, so the idea, again, isn't about how perfect you are. It's collecting your ideas. And then later you can assemble those ideas and take elements uh, from those three different things that I've done. And I'll do more. I'll do a whole bunch of things. Um, and you'll find things you like. So, you know, I like uh, sparse piano. Um, you know, I like allowing it some room to breathe. Uh, I you know, prefer to have more dynamic, you know, where there's like a silent space or it comes down uh, to, to very uh, light instrumentation, not much to it, then builds back up again. Uh, quite like a motif in the, in, in the bass line. Um, 
Uh, there's a couple of motifs in the piano that I quite like and in the vocal. Um, I like the um, uh, the idea of falsetto and going to higher notes, but I'll need to practice that because clearly you know, the execution wasn't very good. And so, but the idea is is to just let's capture that idea and we'll go back and then rehearse that and 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 fact all the different sort of parts of it until it becomes good enough. But really, for it to become good enough, I have to become good enough. So I've got to go away and do the work and go, okay, if I want to do this, then I have to become good enough to do it. And so that's half the fun is that when you're uh, writing a song and you want to improve the song, you have to improve yourself. And so uh, that's the best part of it is that you improve yourself and then when you get to share something, um, you know, you have been on a journey to develop yourself and now you can share that journey with others. I hope that helps you, inspire you to trust yourself to try new things. <laughs>